Right, um, sorry we're late, we were just uh, putting the finishing touches <clears throat> on uh, some kind words we have to say about our great mate Brent. Um, it's funny, we were just standing around here talking before and uh, we heard a phrase that we never thought we'd hear, uh, standing with Greg, it's Bud and Brian, and uh, Brent comes up and says, have any of you seen my wife? <laughs> and uh, here we are. So, what? Okay. <laughs> um, actually, I'll put that away. A second bite is inappropriate. <laughs> um, hey, anyway, I'm Spud, and uh, this is Brendan and Barty, and we've known Brendan Mormon for 30 odd years, I suppose. And yeah, so we're very happy to be here today celebrating his new marriage to Sophie. And uh, yeah, so. <laughs> there are, there are, um, there's a lot of stories which a lot of us know and there's a lot of stories which uh, I don't know. Um, but I first met Bren as uh, we were 12 year olds up at Burwood at footy training first night. Um, our playing days took on different paths. I'm now president of the Burwood Footy Club. Um, but Brendan is a record holder in his own right. He's the only player to play for Burwood that has won most improved trophies in every grade. He <laughs> so I don't know if that means he started off crap and ended up really well, or if he was just an Aussie battler that just kept giving it a go. But under 14s, under 17s, B grade and A grade, Breno's uh, won most improved member grade. So Bren, well done. I thought the president of the Football Club team in the record Well done. Um, a few weeks ago on the Friday night, we first uh, were invited to the Burwood pub to meet Sophie and have a couple of drinks. It was a nice evening and I got there a bit later. Uh, walked in the room and uh, a few family members, a few friends were there and said hello and sat down, waited a little bit. I thought, oh well, he's not going to introduce me, that's fine. <laughs> a few people left, we went into the front bar and was waiting again. And, I know, he's not going to introduce me again, that's fine, I'll, I'll do it myself. So I said, I'll serve you on spot, let me leave. And uh, from, that, from that night, I can certainly see that uh, Brendan's got another most improved. <laughs> that's me. Yeah, anyway, uh, so as we all know, Brendan's lived overseas for. 10-ish, 11-ish years now, um, and yeah, so it's been really good for him, and I have missed him as a really close friend, um, and he'd come back every year or two years, and he did have some tough times, I think, um, and some of the times he came back, you could sort of tell he wasn't really himself, but the last few times he's come back, he's been a lot brighter and a lot happier, and I think we can probably put that down a lot to Sophie um, and it's just been really great seeing him himself and as the guy I was you know best friends with for such a long time and I'm so happy that you know now you've met someone and married and you can start your new life together wherever that may lead you who knows um, so it's just I'm very happy that we can see that in Brennan and Sophie. I'd like to ask up uh, my father, oh, father of the groom, Peter Morgan. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> yeah. right. My public speaking is about as good as my father's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep this exceptionally brief. <laughs> um, I just want to thank everyone for coming. Um, it means a lot to both of us. That you're all here. Obviously, when we got married, you know, it was you know very difficult for people to come over. Um, so it's very nice to be able to celebrate with everybody here, and it means a lot to me. It means a lot to Sophie as well. Isn't it? Lovely that everyone got to meet my beautiful wife. Um, 
not going to ask her to speak. Uh, she's she's more terrified of public speaking. Um, so I want to thank um, well everybody for being here. I want to thank the people that have come from far away, which is us mainly. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Chris and Jess. That's what I, think, yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, in the stay, yeah, that's not really. Right. <laughs> But yes, thank you to everyone that came from Interstate and another place later. Thank you um, uh, to uh, Spud and Barch for keeping that low key. Thank you for not letting Riley and Chewy speak. Um, uh, a big, big thanks to the old man for putting this on. Thank you to Seth as well. Um, yeah, I think that's all I've got. Thank you. So he, he hates public speaking, <laughs> but he can't get the mic away from me. <laughs> actually, what, what I really want to say is actually a big thank you to Seb. Going back, for instance, of probably a few, two or three months ago when we worked out maybe we should have something, for instance, for Brendan and Sophie when they came here, because of the difficulty of, you know, obviously having the wedding in Pakistan at that time with COVID and so on. And I said, oh, well, I said, I'm talking to Marion about it, and my sister was there at that time too. Well, maybe we'll have it at the Parrot home. Hall, you know, with, you know, and I told Brendan, he said, oh, just wait, just wait a little bit longer. Anyway, I talked to Sebastian about it, and, you know, that was going to have it there. Sebastian said, well, why don't you have it here? It took about two seconds, you know, and I said, okay, I'll take it up. So I am really thankful to him for allowing us to have it here. I mean, he's a dear friend of mine, and we go back a long, long time, and, um, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot of work for him, but um, I am really. I don't know where he is. He's probably hiding there. there but he is really. Um, I'm truly grateful to him for it, for giving us the opportunity for us to have the wedding here. And uh, you know, we, um, as I said, he's a dear friend of mine, and um, I'm very thankful. Thank you. So. A little bit of a cutting the cake. Shortly, maybe in 10 minutes or something yeah, like yeah, that. So, yeah, yeah. music can go back on 10 15 minutes and then. <laughs> You're on the clock. I thought I would know me, I don't speak a lot. <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I use the stuff. But, but obviously, I have to be so busy because I want to say busy. And basically, it does give us a lot of. Happiness, for instance, to see Brendan, um, now with Sophie, and we're very thankful for that. Um, Brendan, where's the sound on your thing? To say what's name is taken, Brendan kind of does, is a person that really does mull over things for quite a while, and obviously this has been the case too, for instance, you know that. But the decision he's made, I am sure, for instance, is the right decision. So, as a father, and as a family, what's name, I'm very thankful. And so, yeah, and, and what, what I wanted to give you, what's saying is a book that my father kind of put together, which I've given to all my um, my kids when they uh, when they marry, which is um, it's called Mormons of Australia. Wherever you finish up, who knows? In the sense of the long run, but it does actually give a history, for instance, of our family going back to 1500s, and I think something you know, that is pretty precious to us, and. Uh, you know, I'm really, you know, and you will continue on with that yourself too. Um, just to finish off, for instance, as I said, what time? The thing you remember that there will not be a day that I won't be praying for you guys with your wisdom, strength, and, and patience with each other. And that's all I'm going to say. No.